Hello, this is Dean Phoenix with the second episode of my Death March walkthrough for New Game Plus. As we covered in the last episode, the New Game Plus walkthrough is slightly different because I'm assuming that you're using one of my extremely powerful builds. That means you can do things a little bit out of order if you want as well. So we're just going to cover some of the basics and one of the main things you can do in New Game Plus is because of the extreme resistances that you can have because of things like the Ursine and Viper Armors. You can do things in whatever order you want. Now, one of the things that I was saying is that in episode one we were saying about how Iron Diet can be a little difficult to level up and get the 10 charges it needs for the permanent damage to uh, increase the damage permanently because you kill things too quickly. Now, one of the things you can do is you can search out the Red Skull enemies so when you get to Velen there'll be a lot of things that are too high a level but you can see here it doesn't really matter because you have the high monster resistance you can just kill them anyway. And such now, the Red Skull enemies can actually be a decent way of boosting Arendite there. So he's quickly got a couple of charges from taking on some Red Skull enemies. This applies to most enemy types. You do have to be very careful of the ones that deal bludgeoning damage, which is things like enemies with clubs and some of the attacks that elementals use, because things like golems and elementals use different sorts of attacks. And the main build doesn't have any elemental resistance either, so when you're fighting things like Wraith, you should always carry the Viper Armor and one of the Grandmaster Medium trousers, uh, because using those two together with the Arrowcastic Auction and Spectre Oil with Protective Coating will mean that you take no damage there as well. So you can see, you can do pretty much whatever I want in Belen, and don't have to fear any enemies there, and you can use it to level up Iron Diet as well. So the first thing you should do when you get to Velen is go and collect all of the places of power. Now we don't need to visit Upper Mill this time, apart from maybe buying the Gwent cards. And the first thing I do is go and collect some of the notice boards and then go around finding the places of power that you can get without having to do the stories. And one of them is locked between uh, on a bald mountain on a much later mission. And one of them is in Kira's uh, quest wandering in the dark. But the rest of them you can get and you can see here uh, again I'm level 64 so I got about three levels because I started the new game plus at level 61. So if you were seven to eight points lower than this you would still have a lot of ability points to use. So what we do is you get fixative and killing spree as we detailed at the end of the last video and then you can put points into rend and razor focus as well. Now there are two ways you can do this. You can either put all of the ability points into the abilities and then when you've got enough that you could get the fourth strength and synapses slot you could use a potion of clearance to clear the abilities back down use the abilities and your mutagens to get all of the mutations first and the fourth strength and synapses slot and then build your ability points back up to the point where the build is as it is normally but where you've got all the mutations so basically the two options are you can either put all of the points into abilities first and just keep three strength and synapses slots or you can use the additional 24 points to get Adrenaline Rush, Conductors of Magic, Second Life and Metamorphosis and that costs 24 points in total. Now this will largely depend on whether your mutagens, your greater mutagens carried over. Now if your mutagens carried over you should have tons of them like I did, but if the mutagens didn't carry over, which can sometimes happen, uh, then you may want to just stick with the 3 slot version, 3 strength and synapses slots and put the points into your abilities like finishing rend and razor focus getting killing spree so just think about which option you prefer and depending on the greater mutagens that you had that carried over into new game plus now because we've got the ability to use the build and be able to just take on pretty much anything uh, I, the next thing i would recommend if you don't mind a little bit of a challenge not really a lot of a challenge but a little bit is that you could go to skelliger straight away and get all the places of power from Skelliger as well. Now I do, uh, this is actually part of the recommendation in the regular walkthrough because you can do this at level four, but it's even easier in New Game Plus. So even though these are Red Skull enemies, we should have enough uh, slashing resistance with the Aracastic Auction and Protective Coating and Superior Hangman's Venom. And you see there, that's why I said to watch out for bludgeoning enemies because you do still take a decent chunk of damage from bludgeoning enemies there. But again, that was a Red Skull enemy hitting with the type of damage that we have the least resistance to and it still didn't come close to killing us, so you still have a little bit of leeway. And you've got all of your things like your bombs and the increased sign intensity from Euphoria to be able to use Quen and Igni, Whirl, Rend, everything else. So you can get to Skellige and then collect all of the places of power from Skellige as well. 
And there are a few other things that you can take into account if you uh, wanted to. Now for the purposes of just getting the deathmatch achievement, you don't have to do that at all. But there are some other things that you can do as well. I'll come on to those in just a minute. So you can see here that we've got absolutely tons of ability points there because we've got all the ones from Skellia and all the ones from Velen and all the ones from White Orchard. Pretty much straight away as soon as we've got to Velen because you get the ones from Villain, collect those place of power, and then go right to Skellige and collect those as well. And this is all still on Deathmatch. So one of the advantages of playing with this build is if you have a hankering too, you can go to Skellige and do a few things differently that you may not have done in the original game as well. Like this time, I'd never used the monster deck from the start, and I felt like doing that. So because I'd gone to Skellige, I went and bought the Gwent cards, and because I could do missions that are above the recommended level, even with the Red Skull enemies, I went and completed a few of the Skelga missions as well to be able to the ones that get you Gwent cards so that I could have the monster and the Squire Teldiac. So New Game Plus does give you a bit of versatility. For the purpose of the walkthrough though, that's only a recommendation if you feel like doing that or if you want to make it a bit of a challenge. If you just want to finish Deathmatch, you just do the game in order, collect the Velen places of power, maybe go to Skelga and get these ones and it just gives you a lot of places of power to play with. Now again, I will be about 8 levels higher than the normal New Game Plus was, because most people would start at anywhere between 53 and 55, whereas I deliberately leveled up to 61. So just bear in mind, you may have about 7 or 8 ability points less than this. But again, you can completely finish the build, put Razor Focus, Rend and everything else, and the only thing we're missing is the last 4 mutations and the last Strength and Synapses slot. So there we put Killing Spree in the slot that would normally be Tissue Transmutation or Fixative and everything else stays the same. If at this point you feel that you don't really need Metabolic Control or Rage Management, you can cope with like that little bit less uh, toxicity or not having Rage Management, you could always put Fixative or Tissue Transmutation there instead. So that's the normal option that you would take, but one of the other options is um, you could instead focus on getting the mutations first and then putting the abilities into uh, the ability points into the remaining abilities after that. So basically your choice boils down to do you want the fourth strength and synapses slot first, which would necessitate getting all of the mutations unlocked, or do you just want to finish off the abilities first and then as you level up you can put the remainder of those points into getting the last lot of mutations. So those are your two options that we have here. Uh, this is the alternative version that you would do, so if you had the same amount of ability points but you get the uh, 24 points into those mutations instead, and you can see now because we've got 12 mutations, we've got all of these strength and synapses slots unlocked. Now while you wouldn't have enough points at this uh, time to be able to max out killing spree, if you say if you were 8 points less, you see I've got 5 points available at the end there, so I'd maybe have a couple of points in killing spree instead. Killing spree is still very good even if you have a couple of points slotted into it. And you could still have Rend and Razor Focus with one point each and just gradually finish off the build as you level up instead. So those are your two options. Do you want to have the four strength and synapses slot, which you can just open the unlock the mutations for? Or do you want to put the points into your abilities first and then just unlock the mutations later? Now, based on the, the way that you do the game and the various places of power and things, you will have enough points to fully fin finish the build at approximately level 75. So if you're following the normal progression of the game instead of jumping ahead to Skellige and everything else and you get to Skellige in normal time uh, depending on your starting level um, it's the equivalent of being level sort of 16 to 20 depending on the level that you started New Game Plus in. Now this, bear with me friends because we're going deep down the rabbit hole here but if you actually want to make New Game Plus a challenge which with this build is pretty difficult so you know you have to seek out challenges you could go completely insane and start Hearts of Stone and be able to have the rune right unlocked uh, as early as you want from getting to Belen. Now, like I say, this is not a recommendation, this is more of a proof of concept just to show you could do it if you're insane. So, you see there, that's fighting a Hearts of Stone Venomous Arrakase, which is like a very high level enemy and protective coating still working and everything else. And this is the Runerite quest, where you go and get the quest from the Runerite and you have to take on these Arachnomorphs. Now bear in mind that I started again at level 61. Uh, these enemies are level 93 and you can see that I almost die in two hits, uh, even with protective coating. Now that is before I apply the Arrakast to Coction. But that's just showing you the sort of extreme levels of damage that you would be looking at here. So if you want to do this, this is genuinely a challenge and you know, 
be careful when you do that. So if you did choose to do it, you could use the Ancient Lesson Decoction, which we normally use for one-on-one -on -one fights, but knowing this is going to be challenging and I want as much stamina regeneration, Gwen, Rend and Whirl as possible, I'm going to be using the Ancient Lesson Decoction and Axie and casting a few uses of Axie at the start of the fight. Now you can see there my inventory is very empty, I had about uh, almost three quarters of the inventory empty so I dumped a load of stuff in the stash that I didn't need and just had the bare minimum inventory before starting this quest so that the Aracast decoction was definitely taking the monster resistance up to 100% and even so, so these things are dealing less than 1% of their usual damage and it's still taking a big chunk of my health off that's how powerful the hits that they're taking actually are so you can actually take these things out though, uh, if you want it you can manage to do this quest and then you can unlock the rune right and if you have enough money carried over from New Game Plus you should be pretty able to beat this quest if you're feeling like a bit of a nutter and want to do it. Now this is also another good opportunity to level up Arendite a bit. Um, but again, this is more just a proof of concept. This did take quite a while like, because they're very mobile enemies and they're dodging around and stuff. It took about maybe 5 or 10 minutes for me to do this, so I just cut the end out there a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's interesting that the build is so powerful that you can take on things which are virtually 30 levels above you. These things are like, I think, recommended level 93, and I'm taking them on at 66. So yeah, that's how powerful the build is, and that's how we uh, go through New Game Plus. And this is why the resistances and the specific set of resistances that we have particularly the Grandmaster Ursine Armor are so important. Now one of the things you will notice in New Game Plus is that you get um, armors and all of the armors will have a higher armor rating than the Grandmaster Ursine gear that you had because they'll be higher level but it's the resistances that matter not the actual armor rating itself especially on Deathmatch because of the way that the damage formula is worked out the percentage from the resistance um, from the Ursine gear makes a much bigger difference than the basic armor rating which doesn't have much effect on how much the damage is actually reduced on Deathmatch so after you've completed that, like I say, if you go back to the room right and you have enough uh, money spare over, uh, left over from your previous playthrough, you could unlock all the levels of the room right and everything else like that. And then he will have the diagrams that you need to buy again, such as everything for the greater glyphs of mending and his unique glyphs. So if you have tons of crowns to spare, depending on how much you had left over from your original playthrough, you could also buy all of those from him. Now one of the things about New Game Plus that is slightly tricky is that all of the regular junk that you get like swords and armor and things from bandits will all be the level of the bandit that you killed which means that they'll be worth a lot of money which is great except that none of the merchants have any more money than they do in the usual game so they'll normally only be able to afford a few swords at a time. So one of the advantages of locking the, unlocking the rune right is that if you buy all of the diagrams from him, he'll have about 20k spare. And even though he doesn't give great prices, he will have enough money to be able to buy swords and random things from you so that you can at least sell them and, and gradually build up your money again uh, as you go through New Game Plus until the Toussaint merchants are available and they have a lot of money to buy things from you. So that's another consideration. If you're feeling a bit crazy, you can do that. So just to recap, you don't have to do things out of order at all, it's just that if you're using one of the powerful builds with very high resistances, protective coating and the Aracast decoction, it is possible to do things a little bit out of order. You can go and get the monster deck for Gwent if you want to use that a bit more, because normally you get that a lot later in the game when you go to Skellige. I also did the Novigrad first few missions out of order as well so that I could have some of the good Scoia'tael cards and wouldn't have to rely on the Northern Realms and Nilfgaard deck. So another thing you can do is like if there's anything you particularly fancy trying in Skellige or Novigrad um, you can do that as well and see so here I do the Practicum in Alchemy which is a level 85 quest um, but with Arendite and the build I'm able to take out the Foglets and the Cyclops and everything else that you have to fight for this and unlock Remist's quest straight away so I could also have the Mysterious Elf card and again you can just do things a little bit out of order if you want. Thank you for watching, I hope you found that useful as a proof of concept and you should definitely at least get the Velen and maybe the Skelga places of power uh, as soon as you get to Velen so that we can carry on building things up and making New Game Plus even easier and keeping the build as powerful as possible. So thank you for watching and we'll be back shortly with another episode. Please like and subscribe for more content and let me know your thoughts. Thank you.